Hi guys, welcome to the botany uh, Hi guys, welcome to our botany class. First of all, don't panic because I'm just about to have a panic attack myself. This course is brand new and it's gonna run for the first time. So I do expect some difficulties and some challenges, but you are with me to figure it out and uh, so I can adjust the class for the next students. So let's start with the textbooks. The first textbook that you should have is this one, Botany for Gardeners. It sounds like gardening, but this book is written by uh, by good scientists, the botanists. So it applies to gardening, but also it uh, introduces you to some plant physiology in nice, clear-cut manner. And that's exactly what I like about it. The second book you're supposed to have is this one, Botany in a Day. Don't be fooled. You cannot learn botany in a day. But the book has very nice pictures and it's going to be very helpful uh, finding out what families those plants belong to um, and basic classification and principles of plants identification. The third book is a lab manual. You're not getting this one from the bookstore because this is a classic botany lab manual that is out of print and it's not clear at that point who has copyrights for this book. So the bad news is that you have to find it yourself. But the good news is that this book if you find it on Amazon or a books or in some other places, it costs like 99 cents or nine dollars. Uh, and it's much easier to work with the book than print out some stuff of the blackboard and then fill out all these sheets to fill out and so on. <clears throat> Hopefully for the next semester we can figure out the copyrights for this book so the next semester students can buy it from the bookstore but, um, but this book has 32 labs you will need only 10 okay this one now your lab kit is going to come in a day or two, at least bookstore is shipping it already. It's going to have herbarium press and a lot of bags. Each bag for each lab you're supposed to have. Uh, so your lab kit will be arriving soon and it has herbarium press that you're going to be using and a lot of bags, one for each lab. So each bag has an instructions how to proceed with the lab. Now, um, now I do expect some challenges and difficulties as I said before. So yes, it's possible to get a good grade for the lab even if you're not able to complete it. In this case, you have to explain what you've done and why you couldn't complete the lab because, because it's the first time that the course runs, so everything can happen. And welcome. Email me if you have any questions and I'm very excited to see all of you online.